One, two, three, four. All the young people standing in line. God, it's a shameful sign of the time. Doing the food bank hustle. calls indeed. Hello Towersy. Hello so, Towersy. Crikey, how we wish we were sitting in that field with you all, with the sun uh, beaming down on us. And, indeed. Uh, but hey ho, we're getting through this aren't we? So welcome to the Towersy, the Chris Wine and Julie Matthews slot on the virtual Towersy Festival Day. Um, what a fantastic job they're all doing putting this together and trying to keep people um, you know, their spirits up and keep them entertained. So, um, and some, some fantastic stuff we've seen online. People are being like extra, super creative, and uh, and that's just you know that's all you can do with this time, really, isn't it? Indeed. What you can do, what you can. So, welcome to our studio. We're in our studio. Um, we are uh, recording this for you. Uh, we started there with the title track of our latest album, uh, Revolution Calls. I'm going to stick with that album uh, for the next song. This is the song which I wrote for a, um, a friend of mine I went to school with. And you know that when you make your first best friend, it's like your first true love really, isn't it? You can't, you can't wait to see each other and ring each other up. And Well, we didn't have phone back then, but um, <coughs> as soon as school was over... Was it pigeons? Did you, did you do it <laughs> via pigeon? No, smoke signals, yeah. 
And I used to be on my bike and go down to her house and she'd come up to my house, but mostly to her house because we had loads of kids in our house. It was quite busy. And they had quite a nice house and she had a horse and that was an even bigger pull, you see. Anyway, she disappeared. She left school and I don't know where she went. And I never, ever found out either. She left with her mum. Uh, and this is the story of that. I have the tried good to news to that is she got a great song out of it. That's so right. There's exactly. a positive to everything. I did try and find her. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, this is Long Lost Friend. One, two, three, house that was nestled in fields and stretched over farmlands and down to the coastline you were happy you lived with your parents who loved one another one little sister a good looking brother called George and we cycled through farm roads with the wind in our hair Singing so loud We just didn't care Who could hear us They should stand up and cheer us And if I close my of identical houses that sprawl through the suburbs and down to the town I was happy I lived with my parents who loved everybody two older brothers and a good looking sister called Sue and I came to your house and we danced Left me in dreams Dancing along 
there she is. I mean, the footnote to that song was that I tried. I saw her on the telly once. I was playing with the kids at home. They were just little, and there she was on the TV on one of these afternoon shows with her husband, Mario, when they were singing. And um, and I rang the station, Granada it was, uh, and they wouldn't take a message. Bit mean that, isn't it? Really. Bit mean. And that was my last chance, really, to find her. But hey, we had a great. We had a great friendship when we were kids, and that's the most important thing. What makes me really happy about that story, though, is that she was still singing. And she was still singing. That's great. We were absolutely addicted to it. That's great. <laughs> to sing to the thing that I've missed the most um, in all of this lockdown craziness is um, hugging people, and um, mainly my dad. Um, my dad's 91, and... Um, I'm his main carer, really, so I go, I see him every day, but it's socially distanced, and I do see him in the evening because I've taught him how to FaceTime, so he can FaceTime me. But um, it's really not the same. And um, and he's got a great hug. Yeah. So in, in our online concerts, um, we've been playing this song, and and people have been saying, oh, please record it, please record it. So what we decided to do is record it with a bunch of our um, our friends, and... We're, we've released it as a download single, charity single. Well, at this present time of recording, we haven't released it as a download single, but by the time this goes out, it will be out there. Um, and you can get it through our website, uh, the, s the charity that we're supporting. Uh, we were going to support the NHS, but we decided that um, so much money is going to the NHS now through charities uh, and through fantastic support. So we thought we would choose someone that's probably not getting as much as they really, really need right now. And that is Mind for Better Mental Health. That could have been the phone call, you know, that, that got us to number one. <laughs> you just will never know now, will we? It was Ken Nickel. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, so, um, so this, is, um, this is called Embrace. One, two, three, four. <laughs> It's not the big things I miss the most Grand gestures don't come close The one thing you can't replace The human touch, a warm embrace It's not the loss of liberty Or the sudden lack of certainty It's knowing when I see your face Touch your warm embrace. When all this is over and done, when I'm counting my blessings one by one, my heart's own desire won't be so
soon enough. She will. It won't be long now. <laughs> oh, I can keep the same guitar on. This is marvellous. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, so we live on, um, we're on top of a hill, and we live in a place called the Dark Peak in the South Dark Yorkshire. Peak. The Dark Peak. The Dark Peak. And it's like a bit like something like Lord of the Rings, really, isn't it, that? But um, it's a lovely little old town, and we love it here. We're right on the top of the hill where it's quite windy. Um, and, and you know, you can be like five miles away in Barnsley, which is nowhere near where we are, and it can be raining there. And as you climb up the hill to our house, it turns to snow, so it's that little bit colder. But we love it. The and reason why we're beautiful. able to do this as well is Chris and I share a house together. So it's been great for us to be able to, uh, not only for our friendship, but only, but you know, for, for our professional life as well, so that we can actually continue doing stuff like this. Um, and remember the days of touring? Oh yeah, they, they were great days. And one of the beautiful things that we remember so vividly is coming home on that last day of the tour back to our little house on the Especially hill. Especially when we've got, when we're on tour with, well not just the two of us, because we always tour with Jill, our agent, and Richard, our sound man. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we all come back here, you know, we open a bottle of wine and it's really lovely. And yeah, so this is, thi this is called uh, This House Upon the Hill. <coughs> two, three, four. <laughs> Could ever want more Eggs are frying in the kitchen Postman's knocking at the door The sky is full of snow Now you can tell Because it's cold and still Ooh, oh. We're as happy as we've ever been In this house upon the hill The dog is wagging a welcome Neighbor is singing a song Birds are singing in the branches Wake up before the morning's gone We gather warm around the table With good coffee and good will oh, oh. But we're as happy as we've ever been In this house upon the hill Songs. And the smiling faces, they cheer us as the miles they roll along. But now we're drawing closer and we start to feel that thrill. That's made us as happy as we've ever been in this house upon the hill. Uh... 
happy as we've ever been as well. Yeah. Okay, so um, moving on, we're, uh, we're sticking with our latest album. Um, it's funny because um, in the online concerts that we've been doing, uh, we've been doing lots of request shows, so lots of people have been asking us for really, really old songs, so, which has been great to revisit things, but it's nice to, uh, for us to go back to the, to the latest album and to our latest babies. Um, and this is one of them. Doesn't really need much of an explanation. It's um, fairly self-explanatory. It's called Coming Out. Inspired, I suppose, not only just by my um, own experience, but by uh, lots of other people's experiences of, of that particular time. Coming out. One, two, one, two, one, two. spit in a mouth has gone dry Her knuckles are white from holding on tight cause it feels like falling over the edge and into the unknown They're standing right there but she still feels alone cause Changes from this moment on, coming out. She's practiced the words she's only heard in her head. She can't meet the eyes she tries. But then she just feels like running away from the truth and it all ain't bad. Away from this room to anywhere. God only knows as she thought she could starts to shake, break, and then all the floodgates open. And what's on the inside starts coming out. Courage takes hold and it's not running out. Grief is the heart that can silence die. See you. 
coming out Every, every time we make an album, uh, Julie writes a song for me to sing, and uh, this is one of them. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. <coughs> this is very strange without, um, without all the fantastic uh, crew and everybody at Towers Inn, and especially our sound man, Richard. We're really missing him fiddling about with stuff. It's uh, what we do Production. Is sing. Production, <coughs> exactly. <coughs> Could I have a sip of your water, please? You can. It's fizzy, though. That'll do. It All might right, make you burp. <laughs> Not in the middle of this song. Oh, fizzy water. Thank you. Every morning for seven seconds I forget the world has changed Everything is as it was Before this avalanche of pain Before the loss, before the grief When words of comfort bring you Hold on tight when mercy beckons If only for these seven seconds Every morning for seven seconds Ignorance is bliss Keep your eyes closed, think of something, anything but this. To keep the tide from crashing down, to keep your head up when you think you'll draw. You hold on tight when mercy beckons, if only for. It's been an absolute pleasure um, being here today and 
Like, as we said earlier on, we, we're sorry we can't be there, but, you know, it, this is not going to last forever and we're all going to be together again soon. Um, and we'll, we'll see you out on the road later on this year or next year, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're going to be together, 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 uh, unlike this song, which is Together Along. It just seems quite appropriate at the moment. It's completely appropriate, isn't it? You know, you've got people... Uh, people I feel sorry for, most of the people in the in the big high-rises, you know, they haven't got a garden to sit in or to potter about in. And um, and that's what this song's about, living living uh, with the walls width between you, you know. Are you good? I'm good. And enjoy the rest of the evening, the rest of the day, the rest of the year. For floor.
60 steps connect them all yeah be safe be well be together alone <laughs>